it's scary being being this close to what what essentially will be a highway. We're in Vancouver Strathcona neighborhood crossing along Pryor Street. This crowd that's been doing this all morning says they want this to not be an arterial route. They want to make sure the city is decreasing traffic here, not increasing it. morning rally comes a day before Vancouver City councillors are set to decide what happens to the street once the Georgia and Densmere viaducts are torn down. Tuesday, city staff are expected to recommend an underpass along Pryor and Venables as a main route between East Vancouver to downtown Vancouver once the viaducts are gone. The city staff report shows National, William and Malkin were also considered as arterial options, but all had bigger price tags. The report says the prior Venables underpass would be the most cost-effective option to meet the needs of the community, city and region. But those who live along the route disagree. I have a couple small kids and uh, we've kind of like been putting up with the noise and the air pollution and stuff for quite a while and it's getting, getting a little old. So I think if, uh, if this is the arterial, We'll probably have to move <laughs> just because can't. it's not really a healthy environment to raise kids in. Local residents say the street, which was not designed for high traffic volumes, already poses major concerns. I'm always scared when they get to this point because they always push the button like everywhere in Vancouver. But with this one, they come with the scooter so fast and I'm always concerned and scared when we come to this point. So just yelling like, stop, make sure you stop. The traffic is so fast and, yeah, dangerous. You know, you can be walking along the street for myself as a mother with a stroller. You know, you, you have a bus, like, brushing past your shoulder. Like, if, you know, if you look the wrong way and accidentally step off the curb, you're falling into traffic. It is not a safe street for pedestrians whatsoever. I lost a good friend in the street uh, just up the block at Princess and Pryor. He was hit by a car in a crosswalk uh, and yeah. suffered a life-altering brain injury and ultimately never, never survived that. Vancouver City Councillor Pete Fry has been a vocal advocate of moving traffic away from Pryor. And he says this latest plan would go back on years of promises made by the city. And the previous council has, uh, on two occasions, affirmed that commitment, that this should be downgraded to a collector. So we're just, you know, looking to see the follow-through on that. I feel confident that the council, my fellow council, will, will also sort of follow through on this commitment. In Vancouver, Isabel Regam, City News.